my beauties. Welcome back to another episode of Cultivating Clarity. So this week, I'm going to talk about setting goals. But I want you to know something first. If you're not in a space where you're ready to do something new, that's okay. I'm going to talk about this because I've got a lot of experience with setting goals and it's that time of year that a lot of people do that. But something I read last year really spoke to me. I was feeling a lot of pressure to like find a new goal and set a new goal because we do that on January 1st, right? We feel like we have a new clean slate and that we should, we should begin something right then. And the thing I read said, Hey, guess what? As a creature, you're designed to rest right now. It's the middle of winter and that's okay. It's in the springtime when things are waking up and they're growing and sprouting. That's when new things start. So if you still need to rest and not set a goal, that's okay. If it's not new year, new me, it's new year, old me. That's okay. All right. But let's do talk about goals because I have 18 years of sales experience and 15 of that was in leadership. And so I've set a lot of goals. I've hit a lot of goals and I missed a lot of goals and I've helped other people set goals. So let's break down the four steps that we need to set a successful goal. And the first step is to find the action behind the goal. So a lot of times people think that this is their goal, but they're inactionable things. So if you said, oh, I want to make more money, or I want to write a book, or I want to run a marathon, that might sound like something you can do, but it's not, your brain doesn't know where to go with that. So what it needs is those actionable things behind it that you can do to help you reach your goal. Okay. So we need to break down those actionable steps. Number two is to be as specific as possible with your goal. So you want to break down, you could break down numbers. You could break down timeframes. You could break it into little chunks And we're going to talk about that in a minute, but as specific as possible, it's not enough to say, I want to make more money. How much money do you want to make? Great. You want to make this amount of extra money. Let's break that down even more specifically. By when do you want to make that extra money? Okay. Number three is breaking that down into itty bitty little pieces. So if you have this big goal. We obviously need the action behind it, but sometimes that's just too overwhelming. And so we need it to be even smaller so we can take action. So itty bitty, teeny tiny, like I'm talking, you probably feel ridiculous about this goal. Okay. Like how is this even going to get me there? Those little steps added up will lead you straight to your goal. And number four is to set a date. It is okay if you don't hit that date in the end that you need to push it back. We don't change our goal. We change the date, but we do want a date on it. So we know when we're aiming. If you're like, oh, I just want to make extra money. Okay. By the time you die, like what, when, what is this? (laughs) So we need to take the goal and break it into action. We need to be very, very, very specific. We need itty bitty little pieces and we need a date. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples on how that would be. So first example, I'm going to talk about a marathon. Lord knows I have never run a marathon. I do not like running. (laughs) Give me step class or Zumba or uh, anything else, but I'm going to use this analogy because this is how it was taught to me. Okay. I was struggling in 2022 to break down my goals. I have this amazing planner and 
the creator of the planner had a session with me because I was like, I don't know what I want. Little did I realize in the moment, but I was in a healing growth journey. So of course it was hard to decide what I wanted. So what she taught me was very, very valuable. So if you're going to run a marathon, first of all, we need to figure out the action and that's going to depend on where you are. Okay. So we want to take the action, be very, very specific, break it down into little pieces and set dates. So you probably know when the marathon is that you want to run. We've got that. That's great, but let's back up. So if you want to run a marathon and you're not a runner, then people would probably start with, well, I'm going to start running every day. That's even sometimes too big of a goal. So we need to break it down smaller. And what would be smaller than starting to run every day? Well, if you're not in the habit of running every day, maybe it would be beneficial to walk every day and add a run to it. Even smaller than that is maybe getting dressed in your workout gear, whatever you're going to run slash walk in. Even smaller than that is setting your shoes next to the door. I know it sounds ridiculous, but if you put your shoes next to the door every day for a week, eventually your mind is going to go, oh, those shoes are for running. I, I want to do that. And you're going to start putting on your shoes and your workout clothes. And you're going to be like, I guess I'll go walking and add a run. Okay. So a lot of times our brains want this huge thing, which is fantastic. I really had to learn how to dream and set big goals, but there's some disconnect in there where our brain doesn't know how to get there. So we have to break it down and help it get there. Okay. So those were itty bitty, teeny tiny pieces. And to be even more specific, I would, I would break it down. Okay. I'm going to set my shoes next to the door for one week. I'm going to set my shoes next to the door and get dressed a week after that. Okay. Then I'm going to start walking. Then I'm going to start running. If you are the person who can get up and run, great, go ahead and do that. But you might start off at just a mile or half a mile. I don't know what, where you are in that journey, but what I'm saying is break it down until it's doable for you. Cause everybody's going to be different. Okay. So you definitely want to, do you see how we've taken that action, broken it into the little results or taken that goal and make broken it down to little action results, been specific, um, made it very, very itty bitty and put dates. Okay. Let's go back to writing a book. So if I'm going to write a book and I've never written a book and I have no idea what I'm doing, I need to make that action, be specific, break it down and set a date. Okay. So I might tell myself, oh, well, I'm going to write one chapter every month. And then I need to go into my planner and I need to schedule out the time that I'm going to sit and write. I might want to do 1000 words every week until I feel like my book is done. And I need to schedule out that time to do that. I need to be specific and they need to be teeny tiny little goals. So if I was going to sit down and write a book, which I've started, (laughs) I chose 2000 words a week, which was doable for me. But If that's not doable for you and your schedule, it might look like 500 words. It might look like coming up with the outline and then the the titles of the outlines or or the titles of the chapters. If you're going to title your chapters, um, you know, it's just those little teeny tiny pieces. And then the date comes in several spots, usually in your goal where you're able to you know, have those little tiny pieces that have a date on them. And then your big end goal date. All right. So I hope that that's been helpful. You can tell I really love talking about goals. So I'm very excited to answer any questions that you might have and feel free to drop them in the comments, or you can get a hold of me on Instagram or by email. 
And I would love to work with you. If you feel like I have this huge goal, but I don't know where to start. I do that in my clarity coaching. I'm happy to help you find a starting point, break it down into itty bitty pieces, and then help keep you accountable as you move forward. I love you. I want the best for you. I hope that this blesses you. And don't forget, there's no pressure to set a goal. You can be new year, same you right now. Bye-bye.